burger, lettuce, tomato, shack sauce on a toasted potato bun. And what I like to do is, right before I cook the patty, I'll toast my bun, brush with a little bit of butter and toast to the inside so it gets a little bit of crunch on it, which great tip because what you want to do is create contrast. So we use very soft potato buns. We want to get the inside just a little bit crunchy so you have that nice contrast with the soft pillowy exterior, crunchy interior. Little details like that can really up your burger game. Put all the elements together on the bun so when that burger comes off, and goes on the bun, you can eat it right away. You don't want to wait, because when the burger comes off, it's going to be nice and juicy, and the cheese is going to be melty and drippy. Last thing we need to do is cook the burger, which we're going to do right now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to smash our patty into the griddle, creating a nice, beautiful, even sear that's going to create a lot of flavor for us. Add salt and pepper. And what we do is we take the entire steak itself and grind that to make a burger. We're looking for good fat content. For us, that's somewhere around 20-80. 20% fat to 80% lean. If you really want something amazing, go a little higher, go about 22% fat. I'm gonna take my spatula, and I'm gonna raise it high and try to get all that crust off, because that's where the flavor is, and then give it a nice flip. See that golden brown crust? That is where all the flavor is, and that's also locking all the juices. Last thing, a slice of American cheese. See, it's all draping down nicely, it's getting soft. That's about the time you want to pull the burger off. You don't want to go further than that. Put it right down the center of the bun. And as I was saying before, because the sauce, lettuce, and tomato on there, I'm just going to shut it. That's the Shack Burger. 